everyone. Welcome to another Classic Movie Monday, and today I'm going to be diving into a Western that I was believe made in 1985, if I'm not mistaken, uh, titled Silverado. Um, this one may have a familiar title to some people, I'm not sure, but um, it is an interesting Western to say none the least, and it's unfortunate because I think Westerns, at least nowadays, are kind of a dying art. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to filmmaking, and there's not a huge amount of them that have been coming out. It seems like once in a while they'll come out, like recently The Hateful Eight or um, True Grit, the remake, or s they'll just have little sporadic moments of where people will just decide, yeah, hey, let's make a Western. Um, but uh, it's not really as common as it used to be. Uh, and uh, I think it still has a, a lot of interesting things to offer as a genre, um, despite maybe its limitations. But uh, basically, uh, within this Western, and I think it was relatively well recognized when it came out, it obviously probably didn't make as much as some other films that came out around during this time. But I think as when you look at a lot of uh, Western films, this one seems to, I think, stand out and I think a lot of people genuinely enjoy this particular uh, film. Now, uh, the plot surrounding this film uh, includes a character named Emmett who is basically a rambling man and he has along with him three misfit cowboys, um, Pat and Mal and Jake. And they basically end up sort of becoming the four heroes within this film, and you'll sort of see how they come together and uh, how they end up being introduced to the antagonist and whatnot. And within this film, it kind of involves two antagonists, one being a greedy rancher in the town of Silverado, hence the title of the film, and also a corrupt sheriff, who in this case is named Sheriff Cobb. Um, and what I think really works about this particular film is, is that it has a lot of layers to the plot. It's not just specifically one, again, like one particular villain. There's not as, even though, again, we do have sort of the main person being kind of Emmett, we still have all of these other characters that are sort of involved and take up a, a significant amount of screen time as well. And it's overall fairly entertaining because you ultimately want to see like what they end up doing to ultimately defeat the villains and how they sort of manage to get out of the circumstances that they're in. Um, and it seems like with a lot of Westerns, at least now, there's a little bit more of an emphasis on grit. And here it's kind of more of the traditional Westerns. Uh, more on, along the lines of being a traditional Western, which, again, has its uh, advantages and disadvantages as well. But I think for when you look at, or at least when you look at a lot of uh, films, in particular these Westerns that were coming out, this one seems to, uh, I think, stand out for just having a good setup and having a good overall story and characters to back up the entire story. And I like sort of these sort of simple style approaches of just, uh, again, kind of giving you the straightforward Western, but then adding on various little interesting elements to make it a more fuller film. And I think in this case, it worked to the film's advantage fairly well. Uh, and uh, still, I think, maintains a, a level of enjoyment as far as uh, its genre is concerned. But I think though that's really all I can say though about it without really giving too much away. It it has a lot of uh, interesting things that uh, end up being added sort of into the plot, so I kind of don't really want to spoil things and what's how certain characters are related to others and how that sort of ties the story in even more because that would be probably spoiling it. But uh, it is, I think, uh, definitely one of the ones that has, uh, that at least came out around this period that I think uh, 
is worthy of paying attention to and uh, did get some recognition, although it was probably not the most highly recognized of its time. It's still one that I think has stood um, s stood up to the time that has passed where it has been ex in, ex in its existence. <laughs> So if you have not seen it or heard of it, I would really recommend checking it out if you're interested in westerns, if you are a huge fan of that genre. Uh, this, I think, has a lot to, uh, has a lot of appeal for people who enjoy that genre specifically. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.